All right, so now what is happening, boys and girls? It is CKSR yeah, bringing you a brand new video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be actually hopefully fixing a lot of your performance issues on PC on Season 3, and especially in sort of the ranked player mode on Rebirth. I noticed a lot of people on PC were having a lot of stutter and FPS drop issues. Now, this should pretty much solve all your problems today. Now, if you go into the link in the description below, you're going to get a download link, and it is going to take you to this file right here. It is nothing daft. It's just literally your settings for COD. Now, if you open up your folder, you'll have the exact same folder here named with pretty much all of the same information in it. And what you want to do is, once you've downloaded this folder, double-click into it now. It's going to look pretty confusing once you open this because it's going to say all this text that you don't understand. Now, there's only one bit of text in here that you need to change, and it's right at the top, the second one down, or third one if you count that system, and it is called thread count for handling the job queue, render work uh, count uh, 1.0, whatever. And all the only number you want to sort of alt on this is this one here in the commas, uh, which is number four. It will be set to in this file by default. Um, and what this is, is is just how many cores you have in your processor. So if you've got uh, 9700K like I have, you're going to have eight cores, and... A way to check this is just open your task manager by right clicking right there. Task manager, obviously, you're going to know how to do that if you're going to do this. Um, and you'll come here and it'll say your cores. Now, I have eight. All I'm going to do is, is come to this file, keep the commas there, delete the number four, put a number eight, save the file. And that's all you need to do. Now, the next step is that you want to do is come to this documents folder, documents, call of duty, players, and you're going to have this exact same folder named chat. Now, all you're going to do is just drag that out, maybe not on your desktop because it's going to totally replace that file. Just add, like, say, a backup or just a couple extra letters just so you can alter the file back if it is sort of to corrupt your game. So just drag that file in after renaming the old one, and that's just going to change your settings altogether. Now, this last little tip. This might work for some builds, it might not. Uh, with my PC personally, I've got a 37Ti, 16 gigabyte of RAM, couple of SSDs, and a 9700K on my build. And this absolutely changed my FPS as well a little bit. I sort of had more of a consistent uh, frames per second by turning this setting off. Now, if you just come to your device manager here and go into your system devices, you're going to have a, de um, a sort of thing named in there called High Precision Event Timer. Now, you can right-click on this, and you can enable or either disable it. It's going to be by default enabled. Uh, and if disabling this, it might actually give you guys a few more frames, a more stable FPS count. It certainly did for me, so go ahead and try that. That might be something that might help you guys out. Now, it's not the end of the world if this doesn't fix your FPS. It might also make it worse. So if it does, just enable it back, and that is the only thing you have to do. It's not going to change anything drastic on your PC or anything like that. It's just an easy turn off and an easy turn on. So that is that. Now, if any of you guys have any sort of problems with doing this or any performance issues still, I might be able to try and sort them out and help you guys out with them. So if you are running into problems, just comment in the comment section below, and hopefully I can help you guys out. Now, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.